anytime. Hi. <laughs> I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> Action. One of the first things you want to do is find a car that's within your means to repair. You don't want to get a car that's too rusted. Rusted? Is that, that's rusted and rusted. Action. The one thing you want to do is make sure you find a car that's within your expertise of repairing. You don't want to get one that's too rusted out, too rotted out, because unless you know how to do a lot of model, model work. And that's it. Another thing to consider when you're shopping for a project car is the availability of parts. Take this Chevy Chevelle. The Chevelle ran from 66 to 77. No, it didn't. Let me check. <laughs> what I said. Okay. <laughs> Another thing to consider when you're shopping for a project car is the event. Okay. Messing with my. F Another thing to consider when you're shopping for a project car is the availability of parts. Take this Chevy Chevelle. The Chevelles are hugely popular. They ran from 1964 to 1977, and I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> I know. Another thing to consider when you're shopping for a parts car is a parts car. <laughs> no, it's a whole car. It's a whole car. Such is the case with our next project car, a 1977 Pontiac Trans Am Firebird. It's the other way around, isn't it? It's a Firebird Trans Am. It looks like pretty much everything on this car is going to have to be redone. The engine has already been pulled, and it looks like the whole thing is going to have to be redone. I already said redone. <laughs> okay. Uh. <laughs> Action. Where's Vince? Hey. Hey, where are you? Hey. Uh. I think I'm stuck. Ah. Uh. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> it locked itself on me. Camera one rolling. <laughs> Camera two's rolling. And action. All right. So let's figure out what we need to do. We need to, like, lube this thing up. Got any astroglide? Uh, yeah. We're here. <laughs> Andy dandy right here. Do it again. <laughs> Most of the cost of a restaurant. <laughs> All right. We had to have one blooper. Most of the cost of a restoration is the labor cost. So if you are willing to, duh. <laughs> now I forgot totally what I was gonna say. <laughs> right. And action. And one of the last things you wanna make sure you do is find a car that's running. It's a lot easier to run a, to run a car. No, you have to. <laughs>